and the 19th IBEC meeting where we have had discussions on various matters to do with the intergovernmental relations and I want to confirm that the meeting was very successful. We've been, we've been able to unlock several things. One, on mining, we have agreed that the resources that are entitled to the counties will be released forthwith so that the counties can be in a position to utilize those funds for the benefit of the people. A framework is being worked on to conclude arrangements on how the share that is supposed to go to the communities will be disbursed. So that is one of the things that we have achieved today. Again, there are issues that have been raised by the governors with the Commission of Salaries and Accommodation Commission that is affecting service delivery. And we have agreed that the Council of Governors will constitute a small team to engage with the Salaries and Accommodation Commission with a view of coming up with an acceptable solution. We have had a long discussion over the division of revenue. The Council of Governors was asking for about 425 billion shillings. The Commission of Revenue Allocation was proposing 407 billion, while the National Treasury was proposing to upgrade from the current 370 billion to 380 billion. We have not been able to reach a decision, but I want to confirm that all the participants are alive to the current economic situation in the country, and therefore there was a spirit of give and take. But we have constituted a small committee to hold further discussions and in a week's time come up with a solution as to the exact amount that will be agreed on uh, as the share of uh, uh, revenue that will go to the county government. Finally, there are many issues that we have been discussing for a long time over transfer of functions and resources to the counties that have not been achieved for a long time. To cure that, the President has agreed to hold the governors for a two-day literate uh, early next month to discuss all those cross-cutting issues with a view of coming up with solutions and that forum will also be will enable the governors to interact with the president at an informal level to build relations and to strengthen uh, the relationships that are going on very well between the two levels of government again on behalf of the president i have assured the governors that the ruto administration wants a seamless relationship with the county government. The two governments are one, they serve the same people, and we do not want any conflict whatsoever, and that has been achieved so far. And that will be the policy of the new administration to continue engaging with the county governments because we serve the same